That is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. What's up guys, welcome back to another Swamp and Stomp episode. Today we're gonna be featuring a few different items. We have the JX3 pack system. This right here is actually um, kind of like my take on the JX3 pack system. I'm right now just using the small packs that, uh, that pretty much you can attach to the JX3 or you can have them on this type of system. Or, and I'm also using the, uh, the main pack, which is um, somewhat of a bladder pack. I'm gonna be rocking the uh, out on the limb, the big bob. But currently, um, when I run this saddle, I'm gonna be using this whole system right here. This is actually the high pine wood hunting saddle. Um, they have our camo that matches our shirts and our pants, and uh, they also have a couple other different types of camo. So um, check it out. It matches with our pants and our shirt flawlessly. Um, here in South Florida, we tend to hunt out of pine trees quite often. So we ended up developing this here camo. It works really well in any other kind of tree as well because you have all this white. And as you're looking up from the ground, the white background is really, really camouflages you into the tree. We've tried it out in palm trees. We've tried it in oak trees, all kinds of trees. It works really well. What I'm gonna be demonstrating today is um, one sticking with the big bob. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Let me uh, show you my pack setup here real quick. This uh, JX, JX3 pack system is pretty sweet. You actually, uh, he's got a couple of these little um, paracords with a uh, Prusik on here so you can adjust it to hold your, your uh, platform onto your, your pack. I'm gonna take these off. And uh, this pack is very versatile. Not only you have to use it, you can use it this way. There's a, a vinyl harness and hand warmers that I didn't bring here with me today that you can use to, uh, to uh, pack your stuff in. So now that I get the big bob off of here, Here's what I'm left with. I got my rope down here at the bottom and I got my belay device, which is the, the lifeguard. And once I get up onto the, my hunting height, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my rope and belay down. But uh, yeah, you have your little pocket down here. This one also has a pocket and then you have your big pocket with your water bladder. And this back pocket actually expands so that you can have more space um, in your bladder pocket. I also have a dump pouch here. There's a dump pouch. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start climbing. So I'm using the big bob with a two step aider. This is gonna be my primary um, climbing stick slash platform whenever I'm using my uh, wood hunting saddle. You don't really need a cam to sting over um, while we're just gonna be one sticking. But whenever you're gonna use the platform, what's really sweet about the bob, big bob and little bob, or the regular bob, is that you're able to cam it over and lock it in um, if you're gonna use it as a platform. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and do this up. Clip that in right there. And sit this right over. All right, I think I'm gonna go about, about three paces. Right 
about this height, you want to go ahead and put on your Lyman's loop. So now I got my Lyman's loop on. I'm going to go ahead and put my tether on. What you want to do is run your tether up as high as possible. Alright, I'm tethered in. What's really neat about this uh, wood hunting saddle, at least the, the high pine edition, we created some oversized loops right here. Zoom in on there. It's got some oversized loops there. So whenever you want to uh, clip something on there, boom. If you're climbing with multiple sticks, you can go ahead and clip your sticks on here. So when you're going up, you have them right here nice and handy. And the two loops, you have one on each side, they're separated quite enough so that your sticks aren't banging together as you're going up. All right. So here's my first step. Now I'm gonna go up another pace. So, I'm gonna come down. Being that I'm gonna be in the seated position, for the most uh, part, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch out my pleat. So it cups me nicely. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my am steel here take the pressure off the platform pop off the am steel out of that cam cleat and bring my platform up You want to reach as high as possible for your platform. Clip it in. Clip your amp steel or whatever your rope you're using on your platform. Put it in there. I like to toss my amp steel up over the step. Like so. Alright. Now that I'm here put into the aider. Before I step on to the next step, I want to make sure I move my tether up nice and high. Get that up as high as possible. And repeat the repeat the process. Now once you're up at hunting height, you can go ahead and unclip your linemen. your lines back in and adjust your your bridge or your tether to whatever length you want and then I'm gonna bring my step a little bit higher and then cam it over 
Now this time around, I'm not really looking to get it as high as possible. I'm just trying to get it secured for hunting. I personally like my tether somewhat over my head. Boom, now I'm at hunting height. All right, so now that I'm at hunting height, what I wanna do is get my uh, gear loop. This is the uh, BK Outdoors, the GOAT. So with a regular saddle, you can use it as a suspender. But I wasn't using it as a spender this time around. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around the tree. There you go. So I got a spot for my bow right here. Pull this nice and tight. And then here I have a spot for a pack. And that's this pack. So let me figure out how I'm gonna do this with the camera. Boom. Now I got my pack. Everything's set up here. The only thing that I would do different that I didn't bring is my camera gear. What I usually do is I'll go ahead and set my camera gear on this side of the tree, clip it on, or I can even clip it onto this guy here. Put my camera pack on my um my base, clip it on here, ratchet strap it down, my camera arm, and then put my camera up on that. Most people aren't filming their hunts, so in this case, this is all you really need. Being that I'm gonna go ahead and rappel down, I got my rope in here. That's gonna take forever, so I'm just gonna drop this down. Now, had I been setting up to hunt, I'd go ahead and pull my bow up, put it here, and then I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. And then uh, I'll do everything in reverse to get back down, except instead of going ahead and, and uh, single sticking on the way down, I, I always bring a, a rope with me, and then I'll just rappel down. If I decide that I want to come back and actually hunt the spot again, then I'll leave my rope up and then I can just SRT my way up. But that's pretty much in a nutshell how we go ahead and uh, single step up, stick up and get set up um, to hunt the spot. That's about it. I'm going to go ahead and help Alex get set up. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's right over there somewhere. He's also going to be saddle hunting this year. He's sick and tired of lugging around his uh, summit um, climber. And uh, he sees how easy Mark and I do it. So he's going to go ahead and cross over to the dark side. All right, now that I have my SRT rope up here, I got my belay device right here in this pocket. So. That's what's really nice about this pack. You have these little smaller packs that you can run and have things that you need quick access to. There's also a hand warmer that I don't, I'm not showing in this video. I left it at home. But the hand warmer also uh, serves as a purpose like that. There's a harness that you can use and it sits right up here in the front. Not only can you put your binos in there, it has a pocket in the side that you can put little gadgets in. It has a spot for your rangefinder, And then it also has a spot for your cell phone, which is really cool. And you can charge your phone off a little charger that fits perfectly inside of that little harness. Um, I didn't bring it, so all I can do is tell you about it. But here's another one of these little pouches. If you unclip this and dropped it by mistake, 
that's fine because it's tethered in. You don't need to worry about it. All I gotta do is reach back, grab it. You don't have to worry about being clumsy and losing it because it's tethered into the back of the, the pack. Um, you can remove it off the pack entirely in case you wanna run the pack by itself or if you wanted to use these pouches with your saddle alone, there's a way to do that as well. If you guys wanna see that, make sure you hit, hit us down in the comment and I'll make a video about that as well. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get off this tree. So if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, 